Good morning and welcome to a Capricorn tries to take a week off but then also does four months of sewing in four days. A vlog. Yep. So as I just said I'm taking a week off because at the end of it I'm going to an Airbnb with some of my favorite humans which I'm really excited about and we've been planning it for months and just like waiting for everyone to be vaccinated. Very exciting. I have been working so hard for the last, basically for the last year. I haven't, I've made one thing for myself since last, wow. And so because of that, I've had basically zero time, which is my own doing. I fully accept that I could just take breaks, but <laughs> I won't. I haven't had any time to make stuff for myself, which means now that I'm going on a costuming trip slash adventure, I need to fix my stuff and I, not only need to fix some stuff, I need to finish some things because I'm very bad at using just like safety pins. I have a very long list of things in my head that I would like to accomplish in the next four days because the last day I will be driving very far. I meant to start my morning of vacation bright and early at eight o'clock with a coffee and like a leisurely stroll into my studio and just kind of casually begin my process in a very chill manner. Unfortunately, I didn't finish my actual work and because I am me, I can't actually shut my work brain off until I do that. And so I tried to finish the last commission this morning and was about to pack orders and then I remembered, oh yeah, I have moved to the American South, which means that pest control is basically a required service because I don't know if you know this, but here in Satan's armpit, Bugs are everywhere. And it's not just like bugs. I don't mind bugs. I do mind bugs that will kill me. So that's fun. So anyway, didn't finish any of my work until after pest control got here. So what I'm going to do right now is pack up the rest of my orders, go to the post office, find some time to feed my child lunch, and I should probably eat breakfast. And then we will get into what we actually are going to be making for the next four days. Also, I've never vlogged before, so this is going to be wild and or I will forget to vlog. I just, I'm letting you know that now. This may be very spotty. It may turn out that I like vlogging. We'll see. So anyway, let's pack some order, shall we? So right now I'm making two Regency shifts and they are one of my favorite things to make because it literally involves zero gathering, which is a pain and it involves basically sorry i'm reading measurements stand by okay so i've got the body of one cut out i have to do sleeves and i'm gonna cut out the other one i'm just gonna montage this because like you don't need to watch me do that also i love how there's like this ghost of a kamicha back here hello this needs to be packed i meant to pack it up on friday um but i steamed it way too much and uh it was wet so i'm gonna do that in a minute you guys want to know why I'm taking a week off? It's because I keep messing up. I've messed up now three shifts in a row, including the one you just saw me cut out. And, um,. That sounds an awful lot like burnout to me. I consider I've been making them like almost every day for five, six, six years. So I'm going to redo that one again, make the other one, hope to God I don't screw it up again, and then maybe tomorrow I can have a day off. Yay. So anyway, that happened and now I still haven't packed the rest of my orders so we're gonna pack some orders we're gonna go to the post office then I'm gonna have to make dinner because I have not yet attained a personal chef um, and then maybe we'll sew some stuff
Okay, so welcome to the American Girl storage slash costume closet. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to take my Italian gown. Um, but we need to find my bum. We're gonna need this hat to decorate. Oh, there's my house. I've been looking for this literally for months. Cool. Okay. I'm thinking about wearing this gown because I've, first of all, never worn it. Second of all, I have no pictures. But I also kind of hate it. So I'm trying to think how I can make it so that I don't hate it anymore. Uh, but anyway, right this second. Oh my gosh, we have so much to do. So this is my Edwardian petticoat that is, for some reason, inside out. We're going to need to finish my Edwardian skirt because my friends are on to Edwardian right now. And I don't understand them, but I get to play too. Let's see. I mean, I could just wear my husband's clothes. Hmm. So, okay, I'm getting distracted. First thing, well, maybe not first thing, but I am gonna bring it downstairs. I'm gonna bring my 1780s hat blank, and we're going to grab, not that, we're going this way. My This is my split rump mock-up that I never actually finished, and I never actually made a bum out of it. And so I've just been using this piece of crap, and uh, it finally ripped. So I'm gonna take this apart, and Put it back together. Well, not put it back together. I have better fabric, but take this apart, unstuff it, take a pattern off of it, make it properly. Hopefully that'll go well. So let's do that first. Good morning and welcome to day two of my Capricorn takes a vacation uh, and proceeds to work the entire first day. <sighs> Yesterday was a trip. I woke up at normal time, actually a little bit early, trying to get the rest of my like work stuff done and then just proceeded to do more worky things. By the time I got back from the post office yesterday, it was 5.30 and I had to make dinner for my family, which I love doing. I like cooking. Maybe not so much on my week off though. I should have just told my husband, hey, prepare to like fend for yourselves this week, but I didn't. So after I made my family dinner and put my kids to bed and whatever, I made a split bum. I'm almost finished with it. I just have to attach the skirt bit and the bum bit to the waistband and then it's completely finished. So I don't think I'm going to start with that this morning though. I want to get started on actual like more fun stuff. Hello? Ugh. I have company. Can you say hello? Thank you for interrupting. Anyway, for day two, my plan is to make a pocket 
because mine have disappeared in the course of this move, which is not great because I've unpacked everything. So they're probably either somewhere really stupid, gone forever, or somewhere really smart, which means I'll never find them. Um, so today, making a pocket, I need to make the Scotty Bum from Virgil's Fine Goods, and I want to make at least a petticoat. I may also cut out my roughly apron that I'm planning. Um, we'll see how far we get, but let's go. So because I was eco-friendly and used an old bum as my new pocket, I didn't waste any more fabric, which is great. I also didn't use any new fabric, which means I don't get to check anything off on this challenge. But that's okay, because I didn't have to throw anything away, and it's not just like a bum sitting in my scrap bin, so it's fine. You know what? We're going to call it a quarter yard, just because. So I've made the pocket. Mostly, I just need to hand finish the tape onto the back. I can do that later. Now I'm going to go into the Scotty bum, which means I have to print it out and tape it together and actually follow someone else's instructions. So that'll be fun. Yay. My real camera is dead, so you get really outstanding phone footage. I'm trying to decide what to use for my Scotty. I kind of feel like something utilitarian, like that maybe? It'd be great to use up something I have very little of. Hmm. I don't know why I'm showing you this, because once I pick it, it'll be done. And then by the time this is edited, I will have already worn the thing. Maybe we'll do this. I should have made my pockets out of this. And this is why my thing is a mess. Maybe I'll go blue. Stripe. Blue stripe. Let's do blue stripe. Okay, it's about a little bit before 11 a.m. and I have so far successfully made a pocket and I've made the Scotty bum pad from Virgil's Fine Goods, which I thought was going to be a really quick process. And it wasn't a horrible process. It was just, I had to follow directions. And I had to like, mark darts and things? I don't know. I don't, I don't do Edwardian. This is purely so that I can go play dress up with my friends who have been swallowed by Anne of Green Gables, but I don't know, man. Just <laughs> give me some shapes and like rectangles and things that go together that make sense. And I'm good when I have to cut out this like wobbly moon shape and like mark darts and then stuff wadding in a, mm, it was a lot. No shade on my buddy Amber though. It was like a really easy pattern. I'm just a big baby, to be honest, so. I'm going to take a break for coffee, 
because I have not had anything this morning and I feel like coffee is necessary if we're gonna get through a petticoat and Lord knows what else today. So let's get some coffee. So I've made a bunch of undie things and so now it's time for me to make something fun and that is going to be a petticoat. I don't know what color I'm gonna do so let's go play with the stash again. Hello stash. Okay so I have enough <clears throat> matching fabric for a, like a matching petticoat but I also have somewhere oh some blue and so the bows of the that I made for the dress and for my cap are currently this color I'm trying to decide how far I want to dress this up and I'm so glad that my dogs are clacking around oh my gosh this room is disgusting hi Well, the good news is I picked my fabric for the petticoat. The bad news is I don't have enough of it. So my options are make one of those false petticoats where it's got a panel in the back that is a different fabric, which I think I'm going to do, or don't make this because I just don't have enough. I have enough to make a really short petticoat, but I don't want to do that, so we're going to have to make a false back. But since I'm allowing myself to do a lot of machine sewing on this project because I have no time for shenanigans, uh, it shouldn't be that bad. Maybe. I've got a really weird petticoat going here. It's all blue, obviously, and then the back. And of course, I happen to pick a part that had some sun damage, which you probably can't even see, and only I would know this. A little bit of sun damage in the center front. I'm also reasonably sure that you're going to be able to see the color difference, like through the back of my gown. But honestly, at this point, I don't have time to care. So I think I'm going to pleat this up machine stitch part of the waistband on and then hand finish it later and then of course I have to hem it by hand later but like I said earlier today I'm just trying to get all the machine sewing or like cutting or whatever that I can finished and then when I'm trying to spend time with my family I can also be sewing at the same time so let's get back to that As you can see, I'm slightly falling apart here, um, and my kitchens have helped me put holes in my shirt, so that's great. Um, I just realized I didn't show you the bum that I was working on last night in the dark. So it looks humongous. That's because it's going to get quilted down a bit. Um, but also, when you are uh, fluffy, for lack of a better word, um, proportion is everything. So. Giant bums are important. This is mostly done. Um, I hand stitched the top of the two little pillow bits um, last night and I hemmed, where is it? I hemmed the skirt portion last night. So now all I have to do is pleat this and then attach it to the bum. This is a very informative video I'm making here. Anyway, not much left for this, so that's another hand sewing project I can do while I'm doing other things with the family. And I'm cutting my head off in this, so doing a great job vlogging so far. <laughs> what have I done so far? I've done most of a bum, most of a petticoat, pocket, and a scotty, and have kept my child alive, and have coffee, so doing okay. My list is extremely long still. Um, Next on it though, I think I want to, um, I don't know, hmm, 
I don't know what I'm gonna do next, but I guess you'll find out in a second. Well, today started out okay. I got four things mostly done, and I was getting ready to work on a 1790s, um, just basic white round gown, and then I spilled an entire brand new coffee. So that was fun to clean up. And I feel like it was a sign from the universe that my office is a really big mess. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I was really like discouraged and really annoyed because I had worked for a couple of hours on the round gown, and it turns out that it needs so much work that I don't have time for it. It'd be faster to make a new one, but I don't have any fabric that's washed, which is annoying. Uh, but today was the only day I was really giving myself to work on that. It was like a stretch goal anyway. So, um, I'm going to finish the rest of the stuff by hand, and then, I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow, but yeah, see you in a bit, or tomorrow, we'll see. I decided to finish the bum before I went to bed, but that was about it. Good morning! It's actually still morning and I made it into my sewing room. We had a lot of stuff to do this morning, but today is day three of sewing marathon, even though I didn't do any sewing on day one, but it's fine. So this morning I had to take my new kittens to the vet because apparently kittens go to the vet a lot when they are born of a feral cat, who knew? Um, so they are doing great. And then I came home and had to do like some businessy stuff really quickly. Uh, I'm trying to order patterns, like printed patterns. And for some reason, the guy that's supposed to be doing my envelopes is really bad at communication. But the product is good. So, and of course now you're probably hearing my dog clacking around in the background. Anyway, let's recap what I've done so far in basically one day. So I've got, I made one pocket. It's very basic, very ugly. This is made out of my old split rump, uh, bum, whatever. So I didn't waste any of that. This is actually the same tape that I used for that rump. Or, no, I put that tape on. Doesn't matter. So anyway, we've got a pocket. I've gotten most of the way through a silk petticoat. Let's see. Are you gonna focus? Are we gonna do the thing? So that's mostly done. Um, I haven't hemmed all the way around the bottom yet, but it's pretty close. I'm do. Are, do we need to do yard work right now? I don't think that's going to stop. So I'm just gonna quickly show you the rest of the stuff I made, and then I guess I'll talk to you when he's done. Because apparently we need to do this in the middle of my video, which <laughs> rude. I'm just kind of playing with ribbon right now, trying to see if I actually have enough of this blue satin to do a really lightly gathered um, look around there. And I think I do, which is great. I'm kind of stressed out because I never do my hair properly to wear this kind of hat, so this could be a disaster. But at least I'll have a nice prop, I guess. <sighs> Guys. I haven't started sewing at all yet today. I went and I had this like magical revelation that I still have flat straw hats and that's great. But then I got out the hat and I was looking at it and I'm just like, I have no idea how I want to decorate this. And I stared at it for a good 15 minutes. 
I have stuff to do. Like I still have to go pick up my grocery order in a bit, so I need to get some sewing done. So we're just gonna leave the hats for now because that is something I could theoretically do really quickly last minute. So I'm going to start my fluffy white apron, which is something that takes a ridiculously long time. But the idea I have in my head for the costume that I wanna wear, I kinda need it. So let's do that instead. Can I do this today? We're gonna find out. I've done very minimal filming today because I have been rolling the hem on this apron ruffle the entire day. Can you even see it? Are we gonna focus? Or are we just gonna focus on my head? My goal today is to just finish this apron. I don't know if I will because I still have to roll the opposite side of this thing, um, but hopefully with fewer in in like interruptions. And then I have to attach the ruffle and then do the stroke gathers at the top. So. Probably not going to finish it today, but I may get it to a point where it will only take me a little bit longer. I don't know. We'll see. And then tomorrow it's going to be packing, and I still have to hem my Edwardian skirt. It's only about a third of the way hemmed. still have to hem my 18th century petticoat. So there's still a lot to do, and I don't know if I'm going to get through it all, but I'll throw my to-do list up on the screen, and we can laugh at it together. So anyway, see you later. I would like to apologize to the environment and my bank account for the number of iced coffees that I've had this week, but here we are. It's day four of a Capricorn sews four months worth of clothing in four days, except not the first day because she's too busy being a Capricorn and working a vlog. So yesterday was interesting. I started my morning going to the vet with my kittens, as I think I mentioned yesterday. I don't remember. Vlogging is hard. How do you people do this? Anyway, started with the vet visit in the morning. Kittens are doing great. Immediately came home and cut out a floofy white apron because I want one. And I have millions and millions of yards of cotton lawn scraps because I make shifts for a living. All of this stuff that I'm making in these four days is a uh, scrap or reused or just me finishing projects that I started years ago. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, the apron was cut out and then I quickly realized that the ruffle is literally more than 10 yards of rolled hems. Like because you do the top and the bottom obviously. I got through the first like the top hem of the, the ruffle and I was like that sucked. Um, perhaps it, nobody will notice if I roll the bottom hem on my machine. And then I had this moment of clarity that I am an insufferable and that would drive me insane. So I'm not going to do that, obviously. Like, why would I make it easier on myself? So instead, I just rolled hems the entire day. I'm not fast rolling hems. I'm not good at it. It hurts my hands. And so basically right now I'm telling you why I just tortured myself yesterday. Also, I could have gotten so much more stuff done yesterday had I not done that. So my list of like things to make just got shrunk in to only five actual things and a couple of finishing pieces because that took forever. But the good news is my kid helped me um, hem one side of the petticoat. She's getting pretty good. Like it's, it's good enough that I would put it on a costume. Like that's, that's pretty good. So I've got laundry in right now. And then when that's done, I will put more laundry in. And then <laughs> I guess we'll start packing. I also need to go through my actual costumes and kind of style them and decide what I need to bring, which 
I, I hope there's nothing I need to bring that I don't already have made because I don't have time. So first things first, I'm going to make my packing list. I'm going to realize that I'm probably forgetting stuff anyway and hope that we're not like going that far out of civilization. I don't think we are. I don't know. I actually don't know. So let's go pack and then maybe we'll do some more sewing. Maybe we'll film some more today. But as the genius I am, I didn't charge my camera battery last night and I still haven't ordered a second one. So we're flying chaotically as usual today. Okay, back into the costume closet. I think the first thing I'm going to do is pull out all the things I want to bring and make piles. Um, making sure that I have all the proper undergarments and random accessories that go with them so I don't forget anything. Hopefully. Outfit number one is basically fancy pajamas. I have this 18th century wrapping gown that I made in a day a couple of weeks ago. I made a highlight on my Instagram stories. I was basically ridiculous for a whole day. It was fun. Uh, anyway, I really love it. It's light and airy and should be really great for the heat. Outfit number two is my 1790s daytime look, starting with the chemise and then the bodice petticoat, my short stays, the gown itself, my handkerchief slash shawl, and some blue stockings. Outfit number three is my vaguely Edwardian daytime look, starting with the chemise and then my corset, which is definitely a mock-up. I like my petticoat a lot, and actually the corset cover is my very favorite piece of this. The shirt is from Target and is a great option for people who want to do Edwardian but put in zero effort. And then I have my walking skirt, which is almost done, it just needs a hem, and I think I'll be able to handle that when I get there. Outfits 4 and 5 are just two 1790s silk gowns that I'm bringing for evening. I don't know which one I'm going to wear. I have the blue silk that I still need to mend a little bit and trim and I think it still needs a hem. Um, so if I get all of that done, I may consider wearing it. If not, I have my old standby, this green monster that it's actually like a blue and yellow shot and it makes this ridiculous green color. I love it so much, but I've worn it a thousand times. So we'll see which one I end up going with. My final outfit is my 1779 linen dress, starting with my shift, the bum that I just made, my pocket, an under petticoat made out of green linen, my stays that are also a mock-up and absolutely hideous, the blue silk petticoat we just made, the green linen dress itself. I'm bringing a printed handkerchief just in case I want a lower class impression, but I'll also bring a white one. And then we've got my silk cap from Virgil's Fine Goods and a box full of all of my hat options because I can't make choices. So I've got rolled hems, I've got whipped um, gather here. So I'm just gonna fold this up and bring the pieces with me along with a waist tape and hope that tomorrow when I get to the Airbnb that I can actually finish this. Wish me luck. And now I get to go pack, cool. Currently day five of my week off slash sewing marathon slash trip to an Airbnb. It's 7.53 in the morning, which is seven minutes ahead of when I actually wanted to leave. However, had I not forgotten half of my um, like water and snack things that I'm supposed to be ringing and then realized I needed gas, I would have left 30 minutes early. So let's get going. <laughs>
Okay, so two hours into the drive, I was very sleepy, um, but I did plan out different stops. So I made it to my first one at a Starbucks to stretch and like get coffee and sort of restart. Uh, I like to do drives in like two hour increments. It makes it feel less horrific. Uh, but this one is like a seven and a half hour drive, like all told. So yay for me. I'm so excited to see my friends though. So it'll be worth it. I'm just gonna, my hips are gonna be aching when I get there because I'm about a thousand years old and I seem to have injured my hip in my sleep. So that's awesome. Back on the road. So it's probably about time to update you. We are at the house. We've been here for a day. I injured my hip yesterday. I think I mentioned that while I was driving. Not sure. But it's been really interesting. Anyway, we're all dressed. And now we're going to try and take some pictures before dinner. Also, there are cows. This is a working farm still, obviously. I don't know where the bull is, but he's absolutely massive. Time to go home. We did the thing. We went on a trip and brought costumes. I finished about a third of what I actually wanted to accomplish this week, but I did accomplish a lot of things that I've been putting off and we got some relatively good pictures out of it. I met some new friends. I spent time with old friends and it was great to get away. The only thing that really sucked about the weekend is that I seriously injured myself in my sleep, I might add. Um, so I have since been to the doctor and it's not broken. There's nothing torn, probably. If it doesn't continue to get better, then we'll probably do a scan, but it hurts. Not as much as it did. I was basically immobile for the entire trip. Like I was able, I was hobbling around okay once I got medicine in me, but it was rough. So. I was a little disappointed that I brought a ridiculous amount of shoes. I will put a picture of some of the ones that I took and I couldn't wear any of them because I couldn't walk properly. So that was really disappointing, but great time was had. I kind of enjoyed the vlogging process. So if you want to see more vlogs from me, let me know. I, I don't know if I have it in me to do them uh, 
all the time, but maybe for special projects, we'll see. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell me what is the most ridiculous like sewing project you've undertaken uh, in the comments. I would love to hear about it. If you also tried to fit way too much sewing into zero time, I would love to know. So, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I upload when I get a chance. It used to be every Sunday. I'm trying to get back to that, but with the kid homeschooling, that's just not happening right now. But I do upload as often as possible and I have a lot of fun things planned. So see you again next time. Bye. I'm just rambling, but that's what vlogs are, right? Is that how you do it, Noelle? happening. Just stay. I'd like to apologize to everyone for the whining sounds you may be hearing from my dog. She's a dachshund. She's fine. <laughs>